welcome back to the channel. This is the Tesla Prince. Today, uh, just a quick update on this CTEC CCS adapter. Tesla side, CCS side. Uh, I just want to go over a few items on this adapter. So first of all, on this adapter right here, there's this little rubber gasket thing. And in there is where the cable that came with the adapter it's USB to micro USB. The micro part plugs in there, USB into your computer, and you use that cable to charge the adapter. Um, but you can also use some software off their website to update the firmware. Anyway, I didn't do any of that because uh, I have the latest firmware. I just wanted to point it out. Anyway, looking here on the screen, uh, I was at the Real Canadian Superstore in Prince George, um, and Here's a picture of what it looks like, two 50 kilowatt DC fast chargers. And um, following some exact steps with this adapter, I got consistent results, but it took me a number of attempts. And I'm gonna show those video clips that I did tonight. Hopefully this will help other people who are trying to determine uh, you know, how to get further with this. Now, a couple things. So at some point you might get the adapter LED if I can just show you the light here so this little thing here if I turn it on I don't know if the camera's picking that up but if I turn it on you can see that little green LED just came on well when you're charging that green LED is supposed to blink um, and if it doesn't do any blinking then you're not going to have any success now what I found was uh, if you get to the point where it's not blinking and it's not doing anything, then you need to do a hard reset on your Tesla. So you push both buttons on the steering wheel, have your foot on the brake, and just hold those buttons until the screen goes black. And then after a couple of minutes, you'll see <clears throat> the Tesla logo, and that's a hard reboot. After you do the hard reboot, then you're able to do this, these charging tests again, and then you'll get the LED blinking and all that. I had success on both chargers, but I had to do some fiddling. And essentially, um, this is the error that I got. Charging equipment communication error. That's what you're going to get when it's blinking and then it fails to start. You're going to get all these other ones unable to charge. There's other ones that say couldn't detect equipment. That's your worse off. It didn't even get very far in the process. So just to sort of discuss one of these uh, video clips. So if I play this video, you can see here, I'm like, suddenly I had that aha moment. So the adapter was blinking. I'm like, okay, what steps flashing. did I take here to make this work again? Um, well, this was the first time I got it working. And then a bunch of times I couldn't get it blinking anymore. Switched to the other charger, I couldn't get it working. And then I did a hard reset and then I got it working again. So that's kind of important to note. And let's just talk about what steps did I do. So number one, you turn on this button on the adapter, okay? Um, number two, this is what I did with the BC Hydro chargers, both of them, plug in the CCS adapter or plug into this adapter. So that's the second step. The third step is pop open the charge port and very, very snugly push it in nice and tight. So you gotta make sure that it's plugged into the adapter nice and tight, you hear that click noise, push it well into that charge port because if you don't, uh, you're also gonna have problems. But you get it in there, you'll see it flashing right away. Then after that, you walk over to the BC Hydro charger or whatever your charger is, and then I use the RFID card. Do not do the RFID card first. That was a mistake that I was making. So do it afterwards, um, because that first part, it does all the vehicle communication and that part worked. So then you go authenticate um, and the whole meanwhile, the adapter's flashing, you authenticate and then you'll see other steps like, you know, initializing this and that, and then it's trying to start the charging process, but it still does fail. But anyway, I uh, hope that helps you guys. I'll show some video clips of both um, positive and negative results. I did not get to the point where it actually was charging, but I got two different errors. The first one was communication error, and the other one was like some other charging error. 
So hopefully this video helps and that's it. This time it's actually flashing. Hold your cart. Hold your cart to the reader. All right. Pre-charge tests. Huh? I hear clicking. What? This is way further than most of my other tests. Oh, it says it is interrupted. as it was interrupted. Communication error. It actually communicated. Try it again. All right guys, we're here. Prince George BC Hydro, 50 kilowatt DC fast charger. And I'm here to test out this CTEC CCS to Tesla adapter. Now I made some progress, I'm just gonna do this, maybe it'll help people out, maybe your charger you'll get better luck, but here's the process to get it further than I've ever seen it before. Okay, so the first thing we gotta do, you gotta turn this on. Step number one, turn it on. Step number two, hook this up into the Chatamo plug. So I'll do that now, kind of off camera because I'm doing it with one hand. All right, it's all clicked in. Step number three, open your charge port. Step number four, push it in. At this point, you should see All right, something wrong. All right guys, I did a hard reset, brake pedal and both buttons, and now when I plug it in, it works so well not works but it's communicating we'll see if we get the air this has to be on plug this into here push it in and you'll see this but it says vehicle detected hold the card all right so it wants me to authenticate which I will do there we go Communication error. Sadly. Here we go again, guys. So, wants me to hold my card up to authenticate with BC Hydro, which I do. Now, let's look what the adapter does. Vehicle detected. Doing tests in progress. Pre-charge tests. No. Oh. Error. During. Charging. Error during charging. This time was different. Error during say combo charger. I'm going to try it again. Alright guys, we're going to do this from step zero, see if this works. Number one, turn on the adapter, okay? Number two, snag the plug out of there and plug it into the adapter. Alright. Number three, Open the charge port and slide this in. 
Hard to do this with one hand, but. No, it's not gonna work now. Hey guys, just did a hard reset. You have to, turn on lights here so you can see what I'm doing. You have to hold both buttons and hold the brake pedal until the screen goes black and reboots. Now we're gonna retry this CTEC CCS adapter. Power it on. Whoops. Okay, so it's on from a hard reboot. I'm gonna leave that door open. Pop that open, so again, this is on. We're at a BC Hydro charger here. Grab the CCS plug and plug it in. I'm gonna put this down to do that. Clipped it into place. And now we'll push it in. I got nothing. got to push this in nice and snug. It's got to be clipped in real well. He wants me to hold the card up here. Authenticate. Recharge tests in progress. Vehicle detected. Communication error. 